Now, in this exercise, we'll look at uh, formation of the cantilever section. And uh, uh, if you have not followed uh, the exercises uh, previously, you can open up mybridge underscore two dot std file uh, and uh, you know start working on this exercise directly. Okay, you don't have to do the previous exercises in order to do this one. Okay, now. Let's um, go and, and uh, follow the steps uh, outlined in the manual on page 74. Uh, what we'll do now is go and just click on uh, the geometry tab on the left hand side, okay, which is step number three. Now, step number four, uh, I mean, number two tells us to get an elevation view. We'll just click on view from positive Z. And on the left hand side, we'll click on the nodes cursor. Now, if you click on, if we click on just say that node point, okay, it tells us on the right hand side it's it's node number 107 for me. Uh, the x coordinate is 15.14, okay. So if I click on this node point, okay, it's like 13. So I want to go. And, and select a node point that's close to 15, but it's not less than 15, okay? Uh, because that's where my cantilever support is supposed to start as per the new rules, okay? Now, if you highlight those node points, okay, in the graphics, it'll highlight uh, all the node points that are located at that, within that region, okay? And then we can just click on this command called view menu, View selected objects only. So it basically is going to isolate two nodes. So if you go to the isometric view icon, step number eight, it'll show you two node points. Okay, so the first node point is located at 15.14. What we'll do is on the right hand side in this table, we'll just replace that value by 15. And for the second node point, also we'll do the same thing. Okay, replace that node point. 15.14 by 50, okay? Now, uh, click on view whole structure, okay? So it'll now show you the whole structure. Now what we want to do is select some beams on the right hand side support, okay? And that's shown on page 76 of your manual. Now if you open up bridge2.std file, you know, we have already created a right underscore support beam group for you uh, but in this case we have been working on this file since exercise uh, I mean just right starting from exercise uh, number one right so we don't have that group created in StatPro we can create additional groups of members if you want okay groups of nodes members floors if you want okay now let me show you how that group is can be created okay this is not in the manual so if you go from view from positive z okay on the right hand side uh we want a few beams to be selected and, and we want to group them okay so on the left hand side click on the beams cursor and just draw a window like that okay and now we can come back to the asymmetric view now you've selected more members than you might really need, okay? So if you compare that with uh, figure four, page 76, okay? We probably don't need uh, these two guys, okay? We don't need this member. We don't need this member. Okay, and, and maybe we don't need these two members as well, okay? And there are some members in, um, I mean, there might be, I mean, have been drawn extra in, in, in figure number four, okay, but that's fine, okay. So let's say we have those members uh, selected now, and what we want to do is uh, group them, okay. So there's an option inside stat called tools menu, create new group. Okay, and then you can give a group name. I'm just going to call it right underscore support. 
Okay, for the group name, you can give a space. And the select type is going to be a beam group, okay? And if you click on OK, and if you click on Associate now, okay, what happens is that right support group gets assigned, I mean, these beams are assigned to that group, okay? So now click on Close. Now, if you if you lose that selection, if you click in the white space, anywhere in the white space, and you lose that uh, selection, you can go back to that selection using that grouping command. Click on select by group name. And if you click on the first group, you know, the right support group gets, I mean, appears, and you can click on it, and you'll see that those beams get highlighted, okay? And you can close it. So, Okay, so once that group has been selected, step number 16, page uh, 77, explains you select by group name command. And then you can right click in the graphics and there's a command called move. Okay, what that does is it actually lets you move your members. Okay, now my editor is open, so I need to close my editor before I make any modifications. So if I right click, click on move um, along the X axis, just type in negative six in this dialog box and click on the OK button, okay? And it says that it's gonna create duplicate members, okay? Uh, just click on OK, click on yes. Step number 21, just click on merge, merge and click on close okay so what has happened is you know the support actually moved to a new location okay now um, on page 79 figure 7 we highlight a few beams okay so we'll highlight this beam this beam and we want to delete those, okay? So hit the delete key on your keyboard and those beams are gone, okay? Now there is a command that we haven't looked at and that command is called draw beam by perpendicular intersection, okay? Now uh, in this figure, we already have that member created, okay? But suppose you wanted to draw a member that's perpendicular to another member, you can use the command shown on page 79, step number 25, okay? Geometry add beam by perpendicular intersection, okay? Okay, so once you've drawn those members, you can basically delete these other extensions that we have. Okay, so those are gone. And we just have to draw a few new members, okay? Now I'm just going to orient this structure such that it looks similar to page number 80. Okay, and we'll draw those members, okay? So the way to draw those members again is to click on geometry, add beam from point to point, okay? So you basically draw a member like that. Remember, like that, okay? And then you draw this member, and then you need to draw K brace like that, okay? So, so that completes our our cantilever portion. So in this case, we have a cantilever span of about six feet, okay? So in the in the previous exercise, we learned about how to assign uh, properties. See, in this case, we have drawn new beams. Okay, so on page 81, what they, they're telling us is the second property reference property has to be assigned to the newer beams. Okay, so on the left hand side, let's click on general second properties, set, uh, which is the tube. We need to assign it to these members
and just click on assign and then we need to assign the first reference property to this new K brace that we drew okay Now click on view whole structure and if you right click and click on 3d rendering you should be able to see a 3d rendering of your modified bridge structure with the cantilever span okay if you zoom in you should be able to see you know the bridge in more detail okay So that basically completes our uh, exercise number nine. In the next exercise, which is exercise number 10, we'll look at how to create load cases and load items. And we'll see how to load this uh, bridge structure using the loadings that were defined in the uh, bridge competition manual, okay?